urban gardening. This is what you need to get these seeds going. I use these, easy seal. I like to keep everything super quick and simple. Went to the dollar store. I got these utensils. I got one of these. I definitely use this. Got these little clippers right here. And you know, you get these from Home Depot, your garden store. And I like to cut these. Cut each one in two. This makes it a little easier to deal with. So now you have five sets of two. That's how you get these peat pots together. All right, so now you have your pots in the container. You dump your soil in there. This is kind of old soil, so you see it's kind of clumped up with no problem. It's not like it's bad or anything. All right. So now you go ahead and break up the big clumps. We'll make sure the seeds have a way to grow through all this stuff. Don't want to mat it down too much. And then you want to go ahead and get your distilled water. Pour a little bit in to kind of pre-treat the soil. Don't want to put too much in there, but just enough to kind of get the soil kind of Kind of wet a little bit. All right, so I went to my stash of seedlings and as you can see, these are looking great. We got 11 of them right here that have sprouted. I did 14 last night. So of course my germination rates are off the chain, but that's what happens when you're an expert. Always use nice clean utensils to make sure when we handle these seeds, we do it properly. And then we go ahead and, oops. All you gotta do is make a little space for it. Put it down in there, make sure the tap root is pointing down. And there you go. You cover it up and you cover it up with a little more, all right? Don't want to push on it too hard, but you want to make sure it's nice and covered. You want it to be covered about a half inch, so not very much. So you have to mount it up a little bit because some will fall off when you water again. And that's it. That's how you put a seed in the dirt. I'm going to go ahead and cut it off and do the rest of these. All right, there you have it. Your seeds are firmly planted into the dirt. I got 11 of them right here. They're looking great. So now we're going to put them under the light because, you know, around here, we make sure to get everything started off real nice before we put it outside. All right. So these are the ones from yesterday that I did. I told you about still haven't sprouted, but. Not worried about that. It usually takes a couple days for them to make it through. They, when they start growing, they start growing down first. So they have to get a nice little 
root foundation before they actually break the ground. So I'm not worried about that. So I take them out of these little little situations because I don't have that much space. I literally just threw this together. Like this is guerrilla farming for real. I mean, I had a closet with some water stored, as you can see. But um, things moved a little faster, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take these out. All right, before I do that, let me show what, what else is going on in the room. We got these LED lights that I got from Home Depot. I got the long guy right there. I ran a big, long extension cord. And most importantly, you gotta have this thermometer. You want your thermometer to be around 80 degrees. Right now it's a little warm, so I got the door open. So that's it. So let me go ahead and stop it one more time. All right, as you can see, it took me a little while to get these lined up properly, but and you have to worry about everything falling over. These are hard to balance, but once you wedge them in there, they're good. So now on the dry ones, the ones I just did, put a little bit on top and let it soak in. Always make sure you got a good water bottle right here. And that's it. Yep, everything should be good. No issues. So far we got 25 of them. Not bad, 25 out of 40 already germinated. Not a bad percentage and we still got some more coming. Stay tuned.